there are many different potential targets that one could look for in a cancer cell. The question is, which ones are fundamental to that cell? And do you really understand how they're working? The old way of drug development in oncology, you know, much more of sort of a paint roller approach where you're liberally applying these drugs across a patient population, hoping some patients are actually going to respond. You know, the new approach is, is much more targeted, much more like, you know, having a very specific paintbrush where you're just going in, you're dabbing, you know very specifically who's going to respond, and you're identifying those patients. Diseases are, are not homogeneous, that patients have different forms of a, t a particular disease. We use biomarkers to identify those patients. Genentech was the first company to use biomarkers in clinical development. Prior to that, companies would have taken a drug and tested it in all breast cancer patients, for example. Everybody in the industry was profoundly affected by that kind of story, that you could actually do this in a selected patient population. We like to put our biomarkers in three buckets. The actual target biomarkers that measure what our drug binds, the pathway, so the proteins or the, or the you know, molecular events that happens as our drug binds to the target, and then our biomarkers that are clearly associated with disease endpoints. It's target, mechanism, disease. And we typically tend to have a good handle from our research background on the target and the mechanism. What is the biggest complication is linking that to the actual disease outcome. And that is where a lot of work needs to be done. I think biomarkers really are changing modern medicine by really making clinical oncology in particular much more science-driven and science-focused, much more based on what is the underlying biology, the science of that patient's cancer, and then trying to translate that to clinical benefit rather than just hoping that a patient's going to respond to a chemotherapy without any real mechanistic basis for that hope. This is the right thing to do for patients. When you understand disease, and you think about these segments of disease, you, you can't make medicines any other way. If you understand the drivers of a subset of cancers, you can't treat all of the breast cancers the same as these cancers. This is the way biology is set up. This is how medicine will progress.